true hibernators, they actually go into a state called torpor, or winter lethargy. The fact of the matter is, is that no animal larger than a woodchuck can truly hibernate. During the fall, bears begin preparing for the winter by building up large stores of fat. They consume berries, fish, roots, grass, and sometimes carcasses. During this time, bears can gain up to 30 pounds per week. They also look for a den that will be small enough that their body heat will warm it, but large enough to move around and stretch. They prepare the den by dragging dead leaves and branches to sleep on. Sometimes, a den will include a sow with up to four cubs. When a bear goes into torpor, its body temperature drops by only a few degrees. Compare that to smaller animals whose body temperature drops to near freezing. A bear's body mass and fur helps it to retain heat. A bear's heart rate also drops by approximately 75% from 40 beats per minute to about 8, whereas a smaller animal who hibernates will drop their heart rate by 98%. A bear's breathing rate will also decrease from 6 to 10 breaths in a minute to 1 breath every 45 seconds. When smaller animals hibernate, they need to wake up every week or so to eat stored food and pass waste before returning to hibernation. Bears, on the other hand, can go up to 100 days without eating food, drinking water, or passing waste. Bears can also wake up relatively quickly during torpor compared to smaller animals that wake up slowly from hibernation. This process helps to allow sows to care for their young that may be born during the winter months. A bear may also be awakened by a loud noise, such as a tree falling or the sound of a gun. Unlike hibernators, which require a few hours to wake up, bears can be on the move in a matter of seconds. Always be cautious if you're out in the woods during the winter or early spring. A bear's body uses its fat stores and can regenerate muscle while in torpor. It will also be very hungry when it wakes up.